to The Theater Professor. My name is Terry Dana Chikimiak II, and I am The Theater Professor, and I want to welcome you back to our tutorial vidcasts. We are continuing on our Art Rage for the iPad, which is actually kind of exciting because this week we're going to actually get into the tools of the trade. Before I continued on that, I just wanted to point out that on your screen right now, you should be looking at thetheaterprofessor.com. When you get a chance, please stop by. This week, I have done something that I didn't think I would ever do, but I put up a link on my website. I have signed up for an account on Patreon. For those that don't know what Patreon is, what it allows people to do is essentially tip me for my work. Now, understand, I'm going to continue to provide uh, tutorials and um, other videos, podcasts, and blogs on my website. That's not going to go away. I had to make a decision, though. Did I want to put some stuff behind a paywall? Decided that is not what I wanted to do. Or did I want to put up my Patreon account and see if, uh, if people felt like my content was worth anything? Now, understand you don't have to put anything in. You don't have to pay me for anything. I, I'm going to continue doing this. I love doing it. But I will tell you that every little bit helps. One of the things that I'd love to do is to focus a little more on these tutorials, add some tutorials, um, extra tutorials during the week, vidcasts, maybe increase the quality uh, of what I'm doing. So it's something to think about. So if you get bored at some point, stop by the website, click on the Patreon button, and um, would love any or all support. And there are rewards if you support. So make sure you check out that. And um, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the rewards part because I think it'll be a lot of fun. All right. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about Art Rage and we're going to talk about some of its initial tools. So, why don't we jump right in? And welcome once again to another episode of the Theater Professor Vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Chikimiak II, and I am the Theater Professor. And welcome to all our returning viewers. And to those that are brand new, I welcome you as well. And I hope that uh, that you enjoy what we're about to go through. Now, if you are brand new to this series, make sure that you stop uh, stop by the previous two tutorials, as they're going to give you some insight in regards to the uh, the the tools and the toolbar and how to get to the point where we are now. What we're going to do today, very quickly, is we're going to go through our first four. Well. First three tools, skip a tool, and then go to our fourth tool. The reason being the third or the fourth tool in the order here has quite a bit of settings. We're actually going to ignore the paint bucket, which there's you know there's a little bit you can do, but that's not important. We're going to ignore the eraser till later on because there's things that we can look at the eraser later on. And we're going to start with our charcoal stick. And now. If you've ever done either chalk or charcoal drawings, then you will be familiar with this. I'm using a plain piece of paper, a slight texture to it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and first I'll show you the settings in the down left here. You can see that you can change the size or the pressure. And right now we've got pressure set at four. So let's see what that does. Let's pick a color. I'm gonna stick with my blue here. So that's f pressure of four. I'm going to bring the pressure up to a hundred. Distinctly different in many, many ways. So you can see that with the pressure all the way up, we get a much more solid block of color. With the pressure at four, it is more translucent and uh, a little bit textured. So let's see how it mixes. I'm going to stay at 100 and mix the 200% together. You see there that it doesn't mix naturally. So I'm going to jump to my palette knife, which is really the, uh, the mixing tool here. We're going to mix it together. See what happens. Oh, what, what's which one do I have on? Hard wet blender is what we're going to work with mostly. 
There we go. And you can see that it does mix a little bit. And I can always, you know, I can adjust if I bring up my blender. It's not really a smooth mix. But we are getting a nice purple. We're losing the blue of the TARDIS and going to purple sadness. All right, let's do, let's mix the other one. We'll take us back down to 4%. Oops, not 1%, 4%. There we go. We're still in red. Now this blends a little nicer because it's not on so thick, but let's finish the blending with our palette knife. And you can see it does blend a little bit. It's not great. The big thing when you use your palette knife is that it changes the texture. So if what you're going for really is the texture of this tool, you'll want to not blend in this way and just really kind of just pick your colors. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and clear our paper. And if you remember how to do that, it's the, the panel button or the layers button and clear layer. And we're going to move on to the crayon. The crayon is kind of fun. It takes you back to your, your, your younger years, I suppose. Some of us with, with younger years, much, much, much more in the past than others. And um, so let's look at the settings that the crayon has. We have size. We have pressure and softness, and if you think about the you know crayons that we use, wax crayons, they definitely have a softness, especially if you leave them melted in your car, like children are apt to do, and they get all hard and crusty in your rug of your car, and get all angry. <laughs> Not that I know. All right, so um, we have softness and we have pressure. So let us first start with pressure of zero which should give us nothing. Yep, look at that, nothing. And then we'll do pressure to full. Okay. And just to see what it looks like, we're gonna do pressure, say at four-ish, 5%, which is very, very light. Now all of this currently has a softness of zero. So let's take our softness to 100%. This is with no pressure. And then let's also take our softness to 100% with pressure at 100. So this is essentially the four extremes that you can get. Obviously, if we look at our presets, we have hard wax, which that setting is 50% pressure, no softness. And that's what this looks like. And then we have soft wax, which those settings are 50% pressure, but 100% softness. Now, the one thing to notice here is if I take my softness down to zero, leave my pressure at 50, so this is essentially a hard one. When I lay my first layer down and I lay a second, see how it's layering up there? See the center where it overlaps, it's darker. So this is, a layering effect when it's hard but when you switch to the soft you do not get that layering okay it's all coming down as one piece so depending on what you're trying to emulate create etc be aware that that is what's changing there it's the softness that changes whether you are building up layers or you're just putting down one solid color Okay, let's uh, let's see how it blends. Let's start with the hard wax. We'll lay down our line of red, and then we'll grab some blue. And you can see it starts to blend a little bit. It layers nicely. Let's grab our palette knife. palette knife might be a little big so let's uh we're gonna stay at a hard wet blender but we're gonna bring down the size 
I think I just went too small. I did. Gotta find that happy medium, Terry. It's somewhere there. There we go. You see, it's it it blends okay. You know, this is the hard, and then if we if we switch to soft, oops, have to switch to crayon first. I am all sorts of messing up. There's our blue and our red. Because it's softer, my feeling is that mixes a little nicer. See that? That's kind of cool. So that's the crayon. Okay. Jumping to the third tool. First, we want to clear our screen. Zoom out a little bit. Jumping to our third tool, it is the felt tip marker. The settings that we have in the felt tip marker include pressure, softness, wetness, and whether or not it's an art pen. Okay, so let's start with everything at zero. And let's see what we get. Oh, so that's everything at zero. And art pen is turned off. Take our pressure up. This is pressure at 100%. This is pressure down and softness all the way up. You can see nothing happens. Softness all the way down, wetness all the way up. Ooh, and the big thing there is look at the edges. The edge of the middle one and the far one which had pressure all the way up and everything at zero versus the wetness. Notice how the edges are smooth on the wetness. Taking wetness down and turning art pen on. Very similar to the first one. Very, very similar. Very similar. You know what I'm saying? It's the same as the first one. Thank you. Uh, just a note, I, I definitely, uh, my day job is not singing. In no way is it singing. Okay, so let's jump in. And we're going to leave Art Pen on and we're going to move pressure up. Actually, yeah, pressure up. We're going to take pressure down. I think softness all the way up will do nothing, so we won't do that. And then wetness all the way up. Now, the difference between the Art Pen and the non-Art Pen is as follows. When you have art pen turned off, you are once again layering up. See that? When you turn the art pen on, you are not layering up. See how it's just one block of color? So that's the difference in the art pen there, okay? If we look at the settings that are available, you have hard tip, those are the settings. Pressure at 50, art pen on, wetness at full. And then, of course, we've got things like soft marker, which is a layering marker. And then this one I think is just silly but fabulous. Left the cap off. Yep, that looks like it. Along with all these, we have blending markers. So I'm going to leave that one red. This one's blue. See how it starts to blend? So that's kind of nice. So how do these blend without all of that? Let's grab blue. And let's let's just grab let's grab the hard tip because the hard tip ooh, ooh hitting buttons I don't know how I did it oh I know how I did it hit the question mark by accident so this has art pen on so we're gonna come down here ooh 
Now, it does not blend real well using our palette knife, though. You see that? I mean, it's okay. I would not call it a raving success, though. Okay. If we have Art Pen turned off, so if we pick, um, oops. We go to Soft Marker. You can see merely by stacking things, you can start to get different colors. And then mixing it kinda, not great. So this is not a tool that I would use the, the palette knife to blend. What I would probably do is use the soft marker and build up colors that I wanted. You know, maybe grab, oh, let's grab yellow. Grab some blue. Start to get my colors that way. I think that would be more successful. Or just pick the... Oh, see? Now we're starting to get a green there. See the green? And that's yellow and blue together. Huh, who knew? Take two primary colors, you mix them, you get a secondary color. I always like... So when I'm teaching class at school, um, one of my classes, we go through primary colors and secondary colors and tertiary colors. So, of course, I ask them all. I mean, these are college kids. I ask them all, what are the primary colors? Only about three of them know. What are the secondary colors? We're down to, like, one knowing. And then I go, what are the tertiary colors? And they all look at me like, what? What's a tertiary color? And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty much any color that's not a primary secondary color. And they're like, oh. I think this really turned out, this probably gives me the feeling of marker the best, or felt tip pen. All right, I think I'm going to stop there for tonight. It is, uh, it's late, and uh, I feel like, uh, I feel like we covered a lot of things there. And I'm trying to keep these videos a little shorter, so they're a little more bite size and manageable. Uh, we're going to continue in through the tools uh, next week. Uh, and... Um, the hope is to kind of finish through the tools in the next couple of weeks, maybe play a little bit with some drawings. And really the big thing is, if anybody has any specifics that they want to see in the program, just let me know. Now, um, if you do have questions, comments, or just want to hear your voice on one of my vidcasts, leave a message on the speak pipe that is on the web page. It's on the right-hand side, little button. You press it, opens up. You record your voice, and boom, I have a message from you. That's fabulous. If you have any suggestions or you want to see something specific, that's the best way to do it. You can also email me, which you can get my email from the website, or you could, I mean, there's any number of ways you can find my email. Um, or you can leave a comment in the bottom of this post. And you're probably thinking, if you're watching this on YouTube, what website? Well, www.thetheaterprofessor.com. That's where you want to go because that has everything, not just my videos, but also my podcasts and my blogging. So stop by, sign up for the newsletter, and it'll be awesome. For those of you that are keeping up with Doctor Who, remember not to say anything to me because I don't have a way to watch it until it gets on Netflix. And it's not on Netflix. So while you're enjoying every bit of your Doctor Who, I'll be crying in this corner over here wanting him to come to Netflix, and alas, he will not. Oh, doctor, my doctor. That's about it for this week. My name is Terry Dana Jukimiak II. I am the theater professor, and make sure you continue drawing, because I want to see what you're working on. Take care. <laughs>